It is Black Friday, this Friday, the 29th of November, and do we have a Black Friday deal for you? No. No, we absolutely don't. This Black Friday bookie bashing, like every year, will be offering the square root of nothing, nada, zero, zilch, in terms of a Black Friday deal, because it's consumeristic, materialistic nonsense, an ideology born out of America, where... Heaven forbid anyone sits still for more than 10 nanoseconds and smells the roses. No, they had to go from Thanksgiving the very following Friday and rush to the stores to start buying their Christmas gifts. And the stores capitalized on this by offering deals. Are they even deals? Do the prices just get hiked and then lowered? And then people go out and buy a load of junk that they don't want or need. However, we are a advantage play value betting service and actually it's morally corrupt to be offering these kind of deals, discounts, once, twice a year on these particular holidays. And here's why. First of all, I mean, we are very confident in the value of our product, a little bit like a high-end restaurant. You don't go in, start asking for 50% discounts or free meals or trials doesn't happen. They know how much it costs to run the restaurant and they cost the menu at that level for that reason. Similarly, at bookie bashing with the servers and the staff and the information that we turn around, we know how much the service costs to run, but also is worth as a consumer. And that brings us to the second part of this problem with Black Friday, which is that we are a value betting advantage play service. And these are activities that involve a bankroll and an understanding of variance and volatility. And, you know, if you've got 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds as your bankroll, we're not the right service for you. We do say this if you try and sign up, you know, you need to have really a minimum of four figure balance to play with and even at the lower ebb of that that is very fine for most of the strategies that we have you could bust that particularly easily and i don't want to give sort of false hope and sell a false product to people that don't understand that even you know with an roi of five percent ten percent thirty percent forty percent placing bets with these strategies you can lose you go on long losing runs and I don't want to get my fishing rod in and fish in the newbies, the people with lower bankrolls to lose their money with false expectations. That's not the right thing to do. I will set the cost of the subscription at a level where we only attract people that have that understanding. But then that then brings us into our third point, which is that value betting, advantage play, despite how the environment has changed over the last 12, 18 months is still an arena in which there is a finite number of players that can exist at the same time. And if you have no ceiling and just try and attract as many people in as possible, then the bottom falls out because they all start clambering over each other to get the bets or to start trading on the exchange. The bets get cut, the value disappears, and then the service sits back and wonders, how has it all died so quickly? Where has it all gone? Well, it, it disappeared because instead of offering a high-end service that was very valuable to the small number of people that were in a position to take advantage of it, you went too low, you brought too many people in, and the bottom fell out. And so there was a responsibility on the service provider to apply some sort of common sense to the sustainability of the service that we're offering for the community that we have so we know how much our value the value of our product is worth we don't want to encourage people in with deals and discounts that don't necessarily have an understanding of bankroll management and variance and we don't want the bottom to fall out of the value of the service that we offer by bringing too many people and having too many eyes in on it. it. Just recently, some people were taking our golf, sharing them far and wide. The feedback was those prices simply didn't hold 
and we had to put things in place to stop that person from sharing the golf. It's exactly the same thing with a Black Friday deal. If you look at us and you think we're too expensive, we are. We're too expensive for you, and I'm glad that you're not joining. So this Friday, come over to Bookie Bashing and find out that our Black Friday deal is zero zilch nada squadoosh and have a look through the tools and trackers that we offer and see what your bankroll is and if you have an understanding of variance and volatility. And if all of that fits together, you can subscribe for exactly the same price that you could do for the other 51 weeks of the year and we can completely ignore this Black Friday nonsense.